Hi everyone, I bought uh, another boat this week, it's a Coronet 25 and it's here on the north shore of Auckland and uh, it's a funny situation because I bought it and I paid for it and um, I haven't met the people yet and, and I was hoping they'd be here and they're not but um, yeah, never mind, I, um, I'm, I was able I'm, in it and I have a look around but I think they will probably come one more time to take the rest of their stuff but we'll go aboard and have a look it's a little bit, a bit bloody interesting with this camera oh sweet so Coronet 25, 5 glass boat 25 foot, incredibly roomy for its size um, let's see Uh, what are, they, are they Chinese at Acheron? 10 horse or 9.9 .9, 2 stroke on the back I'm not sure what the future of that in there is um, kind of makes me think it's like a big caravan or yacht version of a caravan um, let's go in oh, incredibly roomy though isn't it? look at that Jesus, that's a big space. Full. Just turn that around. Full headroom. For me, I'm quite short, but it's reputedly 1.8. These are a big centre border. That big. Look at that. It's massive, you know, like. Really massive. Yeah, it's the biggest. Probably, is it the biggest 25 footer I've been on? No, Polaris make a 26 footer, um, up, or Compass made a, a Polaris 26 footer, they're huge, and a Raven 26 is, is big too actually. But this is a trailer yacht, it's got a centre board. Anyway, it's a funny situation because I uh, bought it, I, I come on trade me, I snapped it up real quick and then um, you know, I've texted the guys, and uh, one of them was meant to come meet me this morning, and hasn't turned up. But um, not that that really matters. I only really need them to clear out of their stuff, whatever personal things they have. I don't know, um, but I'm not going to take anything until they've or do anything with it until they've come and God know for sure that they've come and gone. Cause one likes to run an honest game, you know. And, 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 and no interest in taking anything that's not mine. Um, but anyway, that's it. Um, I, I'm going to go home soon. I was hoping to get a little bit more out of this trip down here this morning. But, but I've been here and I've had a look around it. And it's, um, it's what I expected. Um, and that's great. So, you know, I'll, I'll go home with that. And I've also got some... It's nice to have these photos to, to go home and look at because I didn't have any photos of it. Tell you what though, one thing I want to talk about just briefly is that. Now that is a Salt House 25 marketed in Australia as a cab 26. They're my favourite boat. I love them. I used to own that one in particular. Well my mum owned it actually just briefly about 10 years ago. Was slightly better condition then. I've left a note on that to see if I want to sell it because I would love one of those. I looked at one in Fong Rain the other day about two weeks ago and it was all right. I'd owned that one before too. Um, but maybe not quite right for me. And because uh, it ha has an outboard and a well, which is okay, but that one I know is a little 10 horse diesel. And um, so if, if something came out of this trip, I guess, well, like it's. Um, for for them to ring me and say yes you can have it and we'll, we'll, we'll sell it to them because i think they're the most beautiful we got on the water bob sold house i think was a very clear, clever designer like um they're not fast so you know um they're not raced much you know they've got quite a short water line and um and the headroom in them is shorter than this because only i can just stand up in them and most people can't but um you know that's fine anyway Hopefully these people turn up. If they don't, they don't. Um, and I think I'll head home and I'll come back another day and 
cleaned up and do whatever I'm going to do with it, which I, I really don't know. It's here at Milford Marina, which is a fantastic spot, because it's quite cheap. I mean, you know, it has occurred to me to use it as an open batch. Imagine that, you know, like staying odd night here. It's a beautiful place and it's central. And meanwhile, where we live is an hour and a half north. So, you know, the, the ability to stay in the city is actually very welcome. I'm paranoid about these people turning up and yelling at me, which is strange because, I mean, I own the boat. Um, but, you know, you just haven't had that sort of, when you haven't met the people and you haven't had that official sort of handover. Um, yeah, it's funny, I'm, I'm an old-fashioned guy, it makes me slightly nervous, um, which is probably stupid. I mean, I've rang them both a, a bunch of times this morning and, and, and they haven't answered, so they're probably just busy. But, um, anyway, hope you're having a great day. It's the first day Auckland's out of a lockdown today. And driving down there, everyone was heading north. Everyone must be just so busting to get out of the city. And, uh, and fair enough, I mean, if you've been, you know, in lockdown for a week, you, you want to get out, you know. And, and it's funny because all the people from up north, they don't seem to be going south except me. So the road is quite quiet. And <laughs> Anyway, hey, have a good day. Bye.